thousand times what I suffered. What is this about? My son, Eivor. This is about my son! You speak nonsense, that's it. Possible. We shared so much and fought and fled together. Dig, Eivor, into the wellspring of your memory. Speak your grievance. Show yourself. I do not wish to fight with you. What does battle serve? Let us speak! I have waited countless ages for this moment. No more talk! I hunger for this kill. and shattered bones, and my conscience will be clear. more interesting. We'll drag Sigurd into the fray. Coward! Face me! Fight me here! <laughs> Be on your guard, Sigurd! <laughs> me no joy, Justice Bringer. You were always so kind, but you chose the wrong side. I am your prize, Basim. Come. You are indeed. Who 
Will you not die? Not here! Not by your hand! I will leave you here to die like a rotting fruit on a dying tree! You died once, you will again! Planning this treachery, I dare not guess. Gods! Am I to be hounded by a parade of blood minded traitors the whole of my life? There is no end to this. You have something you want to say? Then say it. I. I need some time to breathe. Let me sit a moment. That man's anger, his rage, it had a familiar sting that I, I cannot place. He was raving, Sigurd, without sense or reason, paid no mind. I am not mad, Eivor. These things I see and feel, I know they are true. I know, brother. Now more than ever. You always spoke true. We should cast our eyes towards home. It is a long journey and I am... not well. Home. Eivor. On our journey here, I had much time to think. On the ecstasies and the agonies of our friendship. I am not the man I was. My time as the Jarl of our clan has run short. You must lead us now. Do you mean this? When Dark called you out and challenged you to a duel, you let him die with honor, in spite of his betrayal. He did what he felt was right, and I honored that. I recall our days in Oxenefortshire, our search for the Saka Stone. You disagreed with my orders, but you followed them. You questioned my methods, my aims, but you did not disobey. And when I passed judgment on Holger, you let my sentence lie. Though I knew you disagreed, the look on your face said all. And I remember and admire the way you guided us from Norway to England. You kept my anger in check, my ambitions focused. It was a trying time. In all my days away, in my fog of confusion, you have shown great wisdom, and strength, and leadership. Where you go, Eivor, I will follow. Our clan is yours to lead. Thank you, brother. I... I won't let you down. You have a stormy look. Years ago... Before we left for England, I saw a vision. A vision that foretold a betrayal. That I would betray you. I refused to believe it. 
I would never do such a thing, I told myself. But in the years since, I have robbed you of your dreams. Of England, of Valhalla. If you feel I have wronged you, brother, I will make it right. We cannot unweave our fates, Eivor. All is laid before us, from the day we are born. To be angry at this would be like... Like wrestling the ocean. A pointless struggle. We two ragged ravens. What a saga we have inscribed together. <laughs> a tale for the ages. I'm coming out. Steady, Layla. Were you watching my feed? What the hell was all that? I think that was the solution to our problem. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Desmond. Desmond? What about him? He was just a bartender before he joined us. Not even a very good one. And that's when he learned his real purpose. He was like a... I don't know, like a singularity. You know? A vanishing point. All of human history seemed to converge on him. In 2012, the sun threw off a mass coronal ejection so large, it should have wrecked all life on Earth. I remember. I worked at Abstergo then. It was Desmond who saved us. He knew how to stop it. Abstergo claimed credit for that. Something about their satellite network. That's bullshit. It was Desmond. He pulled the switch that saved the world. But that switch is still on. Still generating a magnetic field. One that's growing stronger every day. The temple Eivor found. That's where the field originates. Exactly. And it's been running for eight years. Getting stronger and stronger. It'll be dangerous now. Heat, radiation... Doesn't matter. We have to fix it. Shut it down. No, no, no. Slow it down. It's still protecting us. All of this is starting to make sense. Everything I've done, everything I've learned, it led me here to this moment. You'll need the staff for this one. For protection. Otherwise, you won't make it past the first gate. Right, of course. Okay. I'm ready. Okay. I'll pack the van. And I'll contact our ship. It can be in Boston Harbor by tomorrow night. Thanks, Bex. It's a long way to Beantown. Hop in. Sean, I'm here. Ah, good. Your signal's already a little wobbly. Are you inside? Not yet, but there's a hundred feet of ice above me. All right. We may lose touch when you push through, so remember what we talked about. Watch your meters carefully, the radiation especially, and keep the staff close. Got it. Standing by.
Zawaho e Nakwat, Unzme Borturwan di Quarde, Ul Solas Fras Hunakudide, Unzum Huraz, Besdere has, Zohumsi. draw so much power. Tectonics is our best theory. The movements of the Earth's crust, the churning lava beneath. Huge source of energy. That's tech humans should have. Energy, not pieces of Eden. Well, but all this is over, we can get a startup going, you know? Get a little work by a band, get the three of it. Shit, you're breaking up, Sean. Say that again, please. You're breaking up. Forget it. I'll call you when I'm topside. Here we go. have collapsed when the ice melted. Whoa, whoa! Steady. A pool of water from all that melted ice. anyone want to end their life here, unless they felt it was just beginning. It's 
just like the Endless. It's just like the Endless. Something feels off. What is this? Are you doing this? Are you pushing this machine to its limit? We will never end. So here we went. In fealty to our master. <laughs> Who's your master? Is he here? <laughs> they flatter me. I am only a guest in their world. A world spun of wishes and hopes. Basim, you sent the message. You led us to Eivor's grave. Yes. A hopeful message, was it not? How? You've been trapped here for a millennium. Eivor put you here. Indeed. But I'm not alone in this place. Not always. I have a friend who helps me. Together, we read the calculations. After we located Eivor's probable resting place, I contacted you. Through the digital lattice that inwebs this earth like a spider's nest. In our day, all the world was connected like this. A superorganism of technology. The staff you carry, the temples you have visited, all of it speaks as one. May I show you something? I imagine you can do anything you want in this place. Not as much as you might think. I am tethered to my body in a most uncomfortable way. But you can slow this machine down. You know how it works. Yes. We'll do it together. For another catastrophe is near at hand. This node of time has an ugly way of correcting itself. Go ahead. You're a hard man to trust. You must know that. You're not obliged to trust me. But this is all I can offer. Through the calculations I read here in the Grey. Eight years ago, the odds of your arrival were 15,055,000,376 to 1. As the years passed by, those odds improved. And as of yesterday, near even. It's a pleasure to meet you at last. Who are you? And what is this? I am the reader of the calculations. 
all these possible futures for you and the world outside. I have spent much of my new life reading these, searching for a way to finish everything we started so long ago. It begins here. You slow down this machine and save the world, from which point all possible futures expand. Millions upon millions of possible roads. But in every one, another catastrophe recurs. The node collapses and the world is wiped out. The human race dwindles and fades. I must keep looking. I must find the solution for you. I must leave you with something. This node? This is right now where I slow down this machine? Yes. I start all my calculations from this point. The only thing I know for certain. That seems limiting. How do you mean? What if you went back further? To 2012 when Desmond saved the world? Desmond? What if he didn't save the world? What if he walked away and let the world burn? Look at those timelines. Read them instead. I see. An interesting idea. Fascinating. Billions upon billions of new timelines to explore. Exactly. These are timelines that never came to pass, but they could have. If Desmond had let the world be destroyed, maybe the humans that survived would have learned something from the disaster. And maybe in one of those timelines, they could have found a way to prevent it from happening ever again. That is brilliant. How did you come to that idea? If you spend too much time narrowing down what's possible, you may never give another thought to the improbable. Thank you for your insights, Layla. It's only the beginning. We have a lot of data to sift through. Are you staying? Until we find something useful, I will. I don't want this to happen ever again. You may not have much time, Layla. The machine is powered down, but the radiation... It will linger for decades. By my calculations, you have 73 seconds before your exposure is lethal. I'm not worried. I have the Staff of Eden. It heals and protects. No. You do not. What? How? Of course. Of course? Fuck. All right. We'll find a solution together. However long it takes. And if that means I can never leave, so be it. I owe this to the people I... I hurt. The people I love. Yes. I know the feeling. Let's get going, huh? A few billion timelines might take a while. It will. But it will not feel like it. That is what I like about this place. I don't know how to answer that. 
But I'm not afraid. And I'm not alone. We have work to do. Work that may take us days or years. It's impossible to say. But we'll finish it. What I mean is, don't come looking for me. It's too dangerous and... and too late. Take care of yourself. Take care of the world you still have. And take care of... You see, she's fine. In a manner of speaking. A manner of speaking. Jesus, we have to find her. You heard her. She doesn't want to be rescued. Bullshit. In any case, there's nothing left to save. Not after this long. Because of you? You left her there. This... this is all a bit much. I know I'm in the same situation. No, no. You're in a class all your own, man. We're assassins now, not hidden ones. From the Arabic, Hashishin. Ah. And do we have a mentor? Is that still the practice? We do. Name? William Miles. William Miles. I'd like to meet William Miles. Would you bring him to me? We can call him. Encrypted line. You can talk to him right now. No technology. Face to face. A meeting of minds. It's time to take the fight to these... these Templars, as you call them. I won't go anywhere, my friends. Your animus is in good hands. How much do you know? My dear, we invented such things long, long before you did. I'll figure it out. It's a nice place to die, Eivor. Not everyone gets to choose. You bested me. I don't know how, but you did. Yet, I'm the one left standing. And now, I can take from you anything I want. Your memories, your skills, your secrets. They're all mine. And when I have them, I will put them to good use to find my children and bring my family back together. <laughs>